To start making El Primo, I first bend some paper clips into straight lines of wire so that I can make an armature. This armature is to whatever I feel is it was going to be a similar scale to the character. And then, once I get it bent so that there are uh, obvious legs and arms, I connect them together with some aluminum foil. Of course, this armature is a little bit different because I bulk it up slightly with some more aluminum foil in the center. After that, I create the skin color of El Primo. And then, once I have the skin color, I cover the armature in a base coat so that the pieces don't wiggle around. Then it gets baked to make sure that the armature is set, and then I start making the different kinds of blues. There is of course a light blue and a dark blue in this character's outfit, and these are the two primary colors throughout the entire thing, except for the skin color itself, which I already have. I then start to cover the legs of the armature with the light blue clay. After the legs are covered, I position them slightly different to give them slight thighs and knees. And after that, I connect them together with a little piece of light blue in between the legs. Once this is blended in, I, I put a worm fully around the top part of the legs to make an obvious seam between the legs and the body. Once this is done, I start adding slight amounts of clay to bulk up some areas like the thighs and the uh, waist area. Once all of these are there and put together, I add seams across the pants. This is done on both sides in order to make it look like there are seams on the pants. Once the seams are done, I create a uh, brownish red for later, and then I start to position the hands slightly. I position the armature on the hands and then cut off the armature so that it's the proper size, and then I start to bulk up the body. I don't start working on the arms for a little while later. I put two pieces of the skin color clay on the sides, then one on the front, and then just blend them all together and blend them into the back. Once that's done, I add some biceps to the front side of a body, blend them in, and then add a seam down the middle of the biceps. Then I make the seam look a little bit better, and then add a little mark on the bottom part of the bicep. After that, I add something similar but slightly smaller onto the back and then blend it into the rest of the body. Once this is blended in, I add a seam all the way from the top of the body to the bottom of the body instead of just on the top. After that, I add the uh, brownish red to the waistline in order to give him his winner's belt. This is not blended in on the back, but instead just put one on top of the other. After that, I add a seam along both the top and the bottom section of the belt. And then, once that's done, I add the little thing on the back connecting the two sides of the belt together. After that, I make the metal, which is some dark yellow clay surrounded by some yellow clay, and then with a star in the middle, and also two smaller little thingies going out of these sides parallel to each other. Then after that, I make the star to actually place in the center. And then once I have the star, I place it on the belt in order to actually give him the belt that he has. Once this is on there, I add in the little bolts on the both sides of the little metal. After that, I add the dark blue shoes and the dark blue thing on his shoes to turn them into boots. I then bulk this up once I added it to both sides because I felt that what I already had was a little bit too, too skinny. Once the feet are done, it's time to finally move on to the arms. The arms are simply just the skin color, that a worm of the skin color that gets blended into the rest of the body. Once it is blended into the rest of the body, I pinch out a elbow, and then I add in some extra clay for the bicep and the shoulder. Both of these get blended in once they are put on, and they are put in the proper place that they would be put. Once these are both blended in, it's time to start working on the hand. Just one hand in this case. I just pinch out the thumb and then cut out all the different fingers. 
Except what I actually did was I uh, cut in the fingers when it was already on the, uh, the body after everything. Then I do pretty similar stuff to the other arm on the other side, placing on the both the bicep and the shoulder, and then blending both of them in. Except this time, I only cut out the pointer finger since that is the only one separated from all the other fingers. Then I make the hand pointing forward, and now that it's pointing forward, I cut in both of the other fingers so that I don't have to make all of a bunch of fingers. After that, I add some bracelet, some armbands around his arms with the dark blue, and then I make the eyes, the teeth, and I cut in little indents for the teeth, and then I make the head, starting with a ball of the light blue. I then push in both the two eyes into the head, and then I add a little bit of skin color to the mouth area. Once the skin color is on there, I add and I push in the teeth as well, and then I add little worms of the blue clay around the eyes to make it look like the eyes are actually inside of the head. Once both of those are blended into the rest of the head, I make them a little bit larger with one of the tools that I have, and then I add black outlines around the eyes. Once that's done, I add more skin colored clay around all around the mouth, and then once I have skin color around the entirety of the mouth, I add in a blue worm around, once again, the mouth area to make a seam going from the skin color and the mask separating the two. Once this is blended in as well, it's time to add the red markings around El Primo's eyes. This is done with a simple worm around the eye that is then flattened out with a little spike in the corner. This is repeated on both eyes with the actual spike pointing out being mirrored on both sides. Once that's done, I add in a little nose using the same skin color and I add in a little bitty bitty emblem at the top, which is... After that, I add on the neck, blend the neck into the rest of the body, and then I cut the neck to the proper size and place on the head that I have so far. After that, I bake the head and the entire body, and I add a little seam from the mask to the neck. Once that's around the entire base of the head, it gets fully blended in to the, up to the mask, and then I bulked up the mask to make it look a little bit thicker. I remove any clay that seems like it's too much excess, and I blend the blue into the other blue. Of course, this did cover up some detail, so I did have to re-add some of the red markings and yellow mark and the yellow little symbol to the mask. But after that, there's only a few more things to do, and that's to make the seam on the mask. I thought this was over for some reason. Then, once I have the seam on the mask, I add in a little dark blue X. And then, to make the base, I just get some light blue, flatten it, put the body on, and then I put the head on. And then it's finished. 